A recent study out of Philadelphia tracked kindergartners who were learning English, and found that four years later there were major discrepancies between which groups of students had mastered the language. Students whose home language was Spanish were considerably less likely to reach proficiency than any other subgroup. And, on the extreme end, Spanish speakers were almost half as likely as Chinese speakers to cross the proficiency threshold. The study, conducted by the Philadelphia Education Research Consortium, just looked at English learners who entered the district as kindergartners in 2008 and their progress through the end of third grade. But this phenomenon isn't specific to Philadelphia. I have never seen any study that has looked at this question and not found this trend, says Ilana Amansky who studies English acquisition at the University of Oregon. Earlier this year, the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine published a 415-page report on English learners. The report cited 12 studies, dating back to 2004, that found this gap between Spanish-speaking English learners and other groups. But to date, no research has been able to determine why. So, we emailed or spoke with about two dozen researchers, teachers, and students to hear how they would explain this trend. Predictably, there's no consensus, but here are three basic theories. There are nearly 150,000 Spanish speakers in Philadelphia, according to the American Community Survey. The numbers are even greater in New York City, where Jose Garcia arrived in 2012, at 11 years old. After emigrating from the Dominican Republic. Garcia moved to the heavily Hispanic Washington Heights neighborhood in Upper Manhattan. At home, he spoke Spanish. In school, classmates spoke Spanish. When he watched television, he often tuned into Spanish language news. So it wasn't like a big challenge for me, Garcia says. Eventually, Garcia moved to Philadelphia and weaned himself off Spanish media by watching American movies like The Fast, and The Furious. But he considers his early months in New York wasted time, compounded by the fact that many of his friends didn't seem all that interested in learning English. They didn't want to learn it as fast, because they didn't need to use it, he says. They were speaking Spanish already. So they had a way to communicate with each other.